G'day, bad Santa here. <laughs> Don't worry, it's only ginger beer. Now, this was a special request, so I take no responsibility. Put earmuffs on now. All right, haven't played this bling in ages. How does it work? Oh, we'll give this a go. Guess the tune I just ruined. I've ruined it for the kiddies. Every Christmas from now on. Well, look, uh, if you manage to get through that, and um, believe me, it was as trying for me as it was for you. <laughs> yes, it's Bad Santa here. Yes, Bad Harry the Santa. Okay, now look, uh, every season, if you're new to this channel, there's a goofy video. Okay, so if you think I've gone insane, no, this is actually, we do this all the time. And a lot of people like it because I keep requesting them okay because this is called workbench and new kits that's the Santa edition yes so we're gonna get some uh, yeah some of those <laughs> are gonna happen and this is where I will show you kits I'm building and kits I'm buying and it actually has been some kits this time remember last time last time I did one of these things right there were no new kits basically because I'd been in lockdown and all the rest of it had been bloody horrible but I've made up for it in the short few weeks I'll be back on contract work and I've bought up like a crazy man. All right, do you want to see those? Sure you do. <laughs> Roll the music. <laughs> yeah, I think I better go back and get banjo lessons. I mean, get banjo lessons. <laughs> no, it's just been a while since I've played it and I just picked that tune out. If you manage to figure it out, it's it's starting to feel a lot like crispness, right? Yes. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. It's as, it's as good as I can get in an afternoon of picking up the banjo after six months or so. I oh, know I've been playing piano a lot lately, so that's why. Anyhow, you're here for workbench and new kit. So what's on the workbench? Well, uh, there's a lot of stuff on the workbench, yeah. So, uh, of course, the Schnell boat, yes. The Schnell boat is on the workbench. And the, you've seen the videos up to now. I've got another one coming out probably this weekend where I've worked out how to improve those railings. <laughs> Let me adjust myself here. I've come up with a way to actually scratch build some railings. It's fairly easy actually, and I'll show you how to do it. And they look really, the duck's nuts, so that's much better. I've also found some PE that I forgot. Yes, dread a bloody PE. So there's a tiny bit of photo etch that still needs adding, and that is the top of the bridge little perspex windows yeah so my little schnellboat sailors don't get wet <laughs> so those two things have slowed me down plus I'd also painted the other side of the hull and you know um, with, the, with the camo scheme now that camo scheme there has been some dispute well only by a few people out there I got no problem with it no here's a photo right S100 with swirly camouflage on okay it was a real thing yeah that's all I'm gonna say so none of that okay the um, St. Louis right that will be next up. All right, that's my next build to get back onto and to stay with. What I might do is I might sneak in the Panther tank and just quickly do the paint job on that. Say it quickly. Nothing's ever bloody quick for me, is it? No. <laughs> well, we'll try to. I mean, I've been trying to do it for ages, but if I get this snowboat out of the way this week, because really I've now got through all the difficult hurdles, it's only assembly, rigging, and a little bit of light weathering. Not much, so it shouldn't be too hard. So, yeah, I hope Percy the Panda. Is he the panda? The panther tank. <laughs> Whoa! It's a panther! What are you saying? It's panda! It's panda's Chinese! I don't know what accent that was, but anyhow. Um, yeah, so we'll do something with the panther. I'll, I'll get a coat of paint on it. Keep the armor guys happy, you know. Um, what else? Well, in my box of tricks here of things to build, 
there is that U-boat, the Type 7 U-boat, which had languished because I'd packed it all back in its actual box. That had gone back in the cupboard. And it wasn't until I got the, um, the DAS boot kit. I did the review for that. A lot of you really liked it, right? And um, I went, oh, bugger, I really should finish my Type 7, the Atlantic version, before I get around to building this DAS boot, okay? So um, that's nearly finished. I really had built it all. Well, I had made up all the sub-assemblies and primed it. It just needs painting and assembling, winter weathering, and some rigging. You know, it really isn't that hard. But I'll probably leave that to the new year, right? So that'll be coming up soon. That'll be coming up very soon. Probably by the next Wet Mention New Kids. I was nearly going to say wank then, but, you know, you say words like that, they fuck you off here because you just don't get monetized anymore. Anyhow, enough of that. Uh, right, there's also my very red civilian Spitfire. I want to get that finished, okay? That's got to get done. So, yep, that's um, that's on the list for early next year as well. So that has to happen. Then there's a surprise kit over Christmas because I'll work up to, and then that sort of break between Christmas and the new year, right? 2020, 22, 2, 2, 2. There's only twos in it. I don't know. The lots of twos year, right? Right, okay? Right in the middle of all that, I usually kind of take a break from contract work and everything and whatever and put my feet up, you know, as you do, as you do, right, you know, and um, I'm going to build something that I've never built my whole life, a kit that I've never built. It's by a manufacturer I love, so it's Airfix, <laughs> and um, it's just come out, it's got two engines, and it goes around like this, that's a hint, so you can figure that one out. So there will be a build, I'm going to just basically tools down and build that out of the box. See if I can actually do that in about a week, if that's all I did, because it's not that hard to build, really. And I've already been playing around with it, and I've kind of built up the cabin, okay? So I did that at one of our little mini get-togethers that um, Bernard, Ed, myself, we all get together, and we have like a, a mini club meeting with only the people we like. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sure they like other people, I only like them. Well, kind of think of it, I'm not like keen on Ed. Bernard gives me the shits. Well, it's people I know, okay? It's people I know, yes. Uh, now, what else will be coming up? Well, there are some surprise builds next year, but I'm going to save that until next year, right? Until we really get into next year, I'll surprise you with a few of those builds because there's things in my work in progress cupboard, right? There's about 20 kits in there that you've never seen. So there will be some little surprise ones. And what I want to do is, in between some of these longer builds, like the Schnell boat that goes on for months, right? Then I want to have a little break and do something quickly, like the Panther tank, right? A little quick thing that only takes a week or two, and you've got a result. So that's just a quick little break, something interesting, two or three videos, it's done. And then back to a long-term big build, get on with it. Speaking of long-term big builds, there is, of course, the Constructo wood kit of the Bounty. Now, I uh, took that along the other weekend with Bernard and Ed, the people that I know and vaguely like. And... Uh, <laughs> and... I was all ready to actually build the forecast and do a few things and build up the bulwarks in the back and all the rest of it. Took down my brand new soldering iron. Uh, well, it's actually a, a plank bender, right? My special Amati plank bender that I bought online and I was so thrilled and excited to use it because hopefully I wouldn't burn myself with it because it's a bit shorter and it's, it's knobs quite as knobby and gets in the way because nothing worse than getting a knob in the way, is there? No. Anyhow, so I'm all ready for that and sit down. I got the guys to run me a power cord all ready to go and I go to plug the bugger in. And it's got a friggin' Italian plug thing, isn't it? Yes, spaghetti plug. And, of course, we've got a bloody kangaroo extension lead. I didn't fit. Right. So, um, on the way home, I had to go to Bunnings and um, get an adapter. But of all the things, I didn't check what the plug was. I mean, I would have thought, I've bought things overseas before, and they know it's coming to Australia. So, it's coming to Australia. Don't you put the Australian plug on? No, apparently not. Apparently not. Marty goes, ah, she's going to be chilly, right? Yeah, it's okay, mate. You have this one. It's a good Italian one. You find an Italian plug, you'll be bright. Yes, that's my very bad Australian-Italian accent. You ought to hear the Italians here, the way they talk. They're really great. They're really great. Half Australian, a bit striny, a little bit Italian. It's a bit like that. A bit like that. All right, that'll teach me for playing banjo at the beginning. I'm all silly. up. My, my silliness meter is max, right? Okay, that basically is the working... Oh, did we just check? Nothing lying around here. No, that, that's basically work in progress that's getting done. As I say, there's 30 of them in the um, cupboard, but we will get to those in due time. You like my t-shirt? You've seen this before. Smaghead, 20, nearly 2022, isn't it? I could change that into a two. This would be good for next year, right? I got this for the first lockdown. For the second lockdown, oh, these lockdowns suck. All right, that 
is what's on my bench. So this is called Workbench and New Kits. Let me have a bit more of my ginger beer and we'll get into the New Kits. Bask, is this all of them? I asked you to get them all out of the cupboard. This is a bloody big pile, mate. Oof. Oh, that cat, that cat, I tell you. Look, um, let's, let's me put this down, see if I make sense of all this. <laughs> As I said, that was basically no new kits last time. The only thing I had to show you was stuff that I actually ordered back in June, so that it came in in July, but basically I hadn't bought a kit for almost five months. Yeah, because of bloody lockdown. Yes, bloody lockdown, no work, no nothing, sitting at home, playing with himself. Yes, anyhow, I managed to find these things. Number one. An Aerosani. Have you seen my Aerosani build? I built the little one like this. It's like a Schlepp, right? And it's got Boris and Karloff in it. And they both suffered from terminal tooth pick up the arse. Right, while well, I was paying them, as you do. Yes, you'll know if you've seen it, what I'm talking about. But anyhow, this is a basically a propeller-driven vehicle that runs on skis that schnoots across the snow. It's an Aerosani, right? I've got quite a few of them, actually. And this one, I didn't even know it was released, and it came up somewhere, and I went, oh boy, because I thought I had them all ready to build, and I had to have this one. So this is one of these little sneaky little builds that I sort of mentioned. I'm going to sneak this in pretty early next year because I really want to build it. And then I might do a bit of a, of a snow diarrhea, uh, diorama, right? Gee, you wouldn't have known have diarrhea in the snow, would you? No. Okay, yes. Um, if you had snow coming out your ass, it'd really hurt. It'd be cold. Now, more about this when I do a review, probably early next year. But yes, this is an Aerosani, and I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that. So that'll just go over here. Where's my pile, Bask? Put it over here. Just, just talk about yourselves. Oh, we weren't all gonna, oh, there's my ginger beer. <coughs> yeah. Uh. Uh, Constructo Bounty's now full of ginger beer. All the sales be going, where's me rum? Okay, now. <clears throat> that is what was making the buzzy noise. Now, this is a funny story, really. I don't usually like 72nd aircraft, except for I got that Buccaneer, but it was big. You know, it's got to be a reasonable size for me to really see what's going on, you know, because my eyes aren't that good, my fingers are kind of fumbly. Despite all the things I do, stuff has to be a reasonable size. Anyhow. The um, sand groper, David Ears, right? David, David Ears? David Eaves! Put your teeth in, Harry. Actually, I haven't. Nobody teeth in. Um, David was looking for the old 148 Airfix Mosquito, right? It's, it's, a, it's an old kit, right? It's seen better days, but he really wanted it. He wanted to do things to it, and, um, you know, he was really keen on it. So I kind of helped him out, and we found one, and he got one, right? So I was doing that, and I thought, I wonder if Airfix has done anything new. And they had, right? But it's 70 second scale. But being twin engined, it's sort of a reasonable size. And I had a look online to see if there were any for sale. And Metro had it and it wasn't a bad price. And then sort of thought I'll just compare on eBay. And lo and behold, on Evil Bay, up it came and they said, Harry, if you buy this now, you can have $10 off. If, as long as you use Afterpay. Now Afterpay is sort of this maybe you've got it, you kind of buy it, right, but then you're going to pay it off in fortnightly intervals. Now, I've bought quite a few things on Afterpay, it's been rather useful. got a brand new computer, my computer died, that was terrific, because that was, you know, quite a few thousand dollars worth of bloody kit, and I was able to Afterpay it, and sort of chisel away and pay it off with the money that was coming in. So Afterpay, as long as you use it right, it's quite useful. Anyhow, I've got such a high limit now that I don't even pay a cent up front. I don't pay my first payment for two weeks, and then every two weeks after that, I pay the rest of the quarters and over that period. So there's literally 10 weeks before the thing gets paid off. Anyhow, cutting a long story short, this was only, what, $27? I don't know, it wasn't much. It wasn't much at all, right? So in shekels, it was only a couple of shekels. A couple of shekels, you get a mosquito. Who would knock that, right? So we'll do a review of that. A number of people have done reviews, and they all rave about it. So far, I have built up the cockpit and really enjoyed that, which is what I did when I couldn't do my um, bounty. I wouldn't bounty because I didn't have a right plug. Luckily, Bernard brought his to the club meeting. Um, I didn't bring anything else except the, the wood bounty, so I was kind of floundering. Bernard said, well, you've got one of those. Tell you what, you can build mine, and when I see you next, you give me your new kit. Okay? So everybody wins. So that was nice of him. Good on you, Bernard. Well, I do like you, Bernard. Do sort of, I don't really like anybody. But <clears throat> I'm being bad Santa. I'm in character, right? Get with it. Okay. Have you seen one of these? It's a schlepper, right? Have you seen my Landwaffer schlepper thing? I did the Hobby Boss one. 
right? That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. And I put, you know, great big um, teeth on the front of it and a big camo scheme. Anyhow, I had the dragon one of these, right? And then a crispness gift, I think by the Becker, was the other one of the dragon one of these with a the big pontoon in it. And it ended up being a great big sort of diarrhea rama rama thing. And I just sort of went, oh, I can't cope with all this. And I was getting rid of kits. So I sold them when I moved some time ago. And then the Becker had a whole lot of kits for sale online. And I'm just kind of looking through, you know, just thinking, well, I've got a couple of dollars now, now that I'm working again. And here, this came up. So I contacted him and said, how much do you want for a little schnapper? Because this is the Hobby Boss one. It won't be as difficult to build as the Dragon one. And I'd already built Hobby Boss, but the Type 1. This is the Type 2. And I thought, yeah. Anyhow, he ended up wanting one of my tanks that I was selling. So we kind of did a swap thing. So this is sort of a new kit. But I didn't have to pay for it. It was literally a swap. A swapsies, okay? Becker and I did swapsies. Just like you used to do in your kid with your comics. Remember that? Take your comics along and go, I'll have your Superman and you can have my Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> now, not another schnell, but yes, yes, I'm afraid so. Yes. And it's not the same. It does, it's an S100. Yes. So it is the later model. But this is the Flak 38. Right, at the stern, you won't be able to see it. It's, it's, it's there, but you won't be able to see it. I'll tell you about this another time. The deck is slightly different, and it has a whopping great big quad gun on the stern there, okay? And the beauty is, I've done one of these Schnell boats, and I put the um, Pop 60s, as it was being deemed to be called. It's really called the Wave, the Wave camo, where I put Wave camo on. But I found another paint scheme that I'm going to put on this one, and um, have a look. Yes, it's all black with teeth. Oh, the river cat is going to love that one. All right, so that'll be an easy paint job for this one. Just basically paint some teeth on the front. The rest of it's black, right? Or it's very dark grey. Anyhow, that'll be fun. That'll be fun to do. And I won't put the um, insignia stripes in the front of this one. We'll, we'll paint this one slightly differently and have a lot of fun with it. That'll be way down the track. But I needed this. Hang on. The reason I needed one of these, and actually this is my kit again. This is Bernard's. Because I picked mine up online, but then realised it wouldn't arrive in time. Because I want to do that comparison between the Airfix kit, right? The Airfix S7 Schnell boat, the 430 S38 Schnell boat, which we should just done a review for. And then I want to compare it back to the Revel kit. Well, of course, my Revel kit's already in pieces, right? So, unless you go back and watch the old review. So, I thought, well, I could get another one for the video. And if I get this one, that'd be great. And again, mine's not turning up for another week or two, and I really wanted to do this wank video. So Bernard said, why don't you take my Schnell boat? So again, Bernard to the rescue. I've got Bernard's kits to play with until I get mine. And then, you know. Right, now. Just, you'll have to go on a super wide screen for this, right? So I'll, I'll move back a bit, right? Okay. Are we wide enough now? I think so. I think so, right? Because this happens every year. Every year this happens. You know this happens. Every year around this time, something, something, dun, 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 Right? What the hell is this, Harry Houdini? Not another shell but No, it's not. And it's not even a Vosper. Remember last year we got a Vosper? It's not a Vosper. It's not a Vosper. This is Italian, right? And it's made by Italy. So my rule usually is, you know, if you want a British subject, go to a British kit manufacturer. Airfix, right? If you want a German subject, Go to Revel, right? Revel's German. They they should know their own country's stuff. They've got access to that thing. They should have one in a museum, and they should be passionate about it, right? Went to an American subject. Go to America, right? Okay. Although I usually get made in Japan, what well, Japan's just like suburb of America in some ways. Ooh, get drunk for that. Uh, right, it's a M A S, right? It is an Italian um, fast motorboat. And it has the red stripey things on it, and big torpedo tubes, and you name it. Now this also is 135th scale, right? So that's twice the scale of my other things. And this is bigger than my 172nd Schnell boat. By one millimetre. <laughs> this is like, I was to say, I oh know I've got glasses on. This is like 459 millimetres long. And the 172nd German Schnell boat is 458 millimetres long. Literally, that's that. So in actuality, if they were the same scale, this would be half as long, you know, are you with me? You're following the math, a lot of people don't get the math, right? So anyhow, in 135th scale, this is a good thing to have because it really only ends up being on my bench and in my display cabinet, as big as the 170 second Schnell boat. That's all I'm trying to say, all right? So there you go. This is what we have got to look forward to 
next year, and I'm definitely going to build this one. What happened to the Vosper, you say? Well, I'll talk to you about that another time, because um, basically there was a bit of duck and shove. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. Yes. And it waddled off. Yes. Waddled off. All right. So those are all the new kits. So there's some, there's some great stuff there, okay? Uh, yep, a few of them are boats, okay, but there's one aeroplane. The Arasani is sort of armour, but again, it's kind of speeding along aircraft and oh, it's a bit of everything, the Arasani. I love it. It's, it's just a weird thing. So I've got a lot of new stuff that I'll slide in whenever. And I don't think I'm building everything next week, like even the S30 Schnell boat, right? Everyone's going, oh, we're looking forward to the build. Well, don't hold your breath. I've got a ton of stuff to do. And I'm, you know, this is what happens. I, I show kits or I review kits and everyone thinks I'm building it that week. Um, no, no, sometimes I just got nothing else to say or I've got an exciting new kit and so I want to share it with you, okay? Now I'm going to hint at something else that's coming up too on this channel, right? Now, I monetized three years ago, okay? Hoping that that might provide a little income stream and um, it, it dripped in. And I've done a video on that that's called the unpaid gooch, right? It dripped in. It wasn't much, right? Monetization, I don't know. Um, maybe I didn't understand the algorithm formula. Maybe I played too much banjo. Who knows, right? Who knows? But anyhow, at one stage, I recommended it. I took on Patreon. That was over a year ago. And Patreon did heaps for my channel, right? Literally, overnight, my income from YouTube went up six times. Yeah. Somehow, having a Patreon link, they went, Oh, my God, he's serious. He's not just some idiot that plays banjo. Suddenly, they were paying me like this, and they started paying me this which is kind of the money I've been using to buy all these new kits. Not only that, I get a little bit from my patrons as well. So I went from, you know, hardly getting anything, maybe every three or four months getting a getting a check, well, a direct deposit, you know, from um, YouTube, which gave me a little bit of money to buy something, some tools or kits. Now I'm getting an income every month, which is really good. And that's why I can do more videos, unless I'm absolutely snowed down with contract work. I can do more videos and I can buy tools and I can review things. And that is really great. So... That has been over a year now, and YouTube has now suggested to me to do another thing. So, this is tier three. Yep, yeah, this is a whole other level. And there's sort of a, a membership thing on YouTube, right? I've got to look into it. I'm approved for it. I've got to sort it all out, get it all together, and I've got to make badges for all you guys. And you can basically join my club team membership. I don't know what. I think you actually just come around and we'll have a barbecue on the Saturday things. Yeah. Which would be very interesting because I'm a vegetarian, so there'll be no freaking meat. Um, <laughs> anyhow, that's coming up. When I know what it is, I could tell you what it is. And it's a thing where if you don't like Patreon and you know you, you, you don't know how else to get in touch with me, sort of out of YouTube or whatever, well, it's sort of a thing in YouTube which is a very close club where you get a more intimate experience. All right? So you get more banjo playing. Yes. 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 There goes the subscriber count. Mm. All right. That's enough. That is all that I have to say. <laughs> well, actually, I've probably got a lot more to say, but that is where I'm going to leave it, okay? So, thanks for watching. Please hit that like button, comment, subscribe, all those things. Go to Patreon, you know, become a member, sling me a bit of money so I can afford to feed Bass Cat, all that sort of stuff. All right, well, Merry Christmas, and it's Huru from Australia, from Harry Houdini.